It might be the most controversial moment of the Me Too movement yet. Accusations against actor Aziz Ansari. Over the weekend, the website Babe.net published an article with an anonymous woman's account of a date with Ansari, which she called, quote, the worst night of her life. The then 22-year-old woman, who the piece calls Grace, said the two met at the 2017 Emmys after party and exchanged numbers. A few days later, they went on a date. Grace described how she felt like he rushed her through dinner, then took her back to his apartment, and a warning some of the details were about to give get graphic. According to the piece, when Ansari told her he was going to grab a condom within minutes of their first kiss, Grace voiced her hesitation explicitly. I said something like, whoa, let's relax for a sec, let's chill. She says he then resumed kissing her, briefly performed oral sex on her, and asked her to do the same thing to him. She did, but not for long. Grace told the reporter she eventually went to the bathroom, splashed water on her face, then came back out. When he asked her if she was okay, she responded, quote, I said, I don't want to feel forced because then I'll hate you, and I'd rather not hate you. Grace said at first, I'm sorry, acknowledged that she was uncomfortable and suggested they, quote, just chill on the couch. But then she said, he sat back and pointed to his penis and motioned for me to go down on him, and I did. I think I just felt really pressured. Grace said she ultimately ended up leaving in tears and later texted him to tell him how uncomfortable the night was for her. Ansari responded via text saying, I'm so sad to hear this. All I can say is it would never be my intention to make you or anyone feel the way you described. Clearly, I misread things in the moment, and I'm truly sorry. He has since issued a statement, which reads, in part, in September of last year, I met a woman at a party. We ended up engaging in sexual activity, which by all indications was completely consensual. The next day, I got a text from her saying that although it may have seemed okay, upon further reflection, she felt uncomfortable. It was true that everything did seem okay to me. So when I heard that it was not the case for her, I was surprised surprised and concerned. I took her words to heart and responded privately after taking the time to process what she had said. I continue to support the movement that is happening in our culture. It is necessary and long overdue. Here's some of the headlines that have come out since the story first broke. The humiliation of Aziz Ansari. Aziz Ansari is guilty of not being a mind reader. The Me Too movement has officially jumped the shark. And those three stories, all written by women. It's a complicated case for many. Joining me to discuss her local writer, Jen Diederich, who is currently working on an illustrated history of women's citizenship. Good to see you, Jen. Thank you. Tina Opie is an assistant professor at manage, of management at Babson College. Tina, it's good to see you again, too. Uh, starting with you, Jen, Barry Weiss, who's a woman, by the way, who's mm-hmm. a columnist for the, for the New York Times, said, it's the worst thing that has happened to the Me Too movement since it began in October. Is it? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, I think this is a conversation that women have been having for hundreds of years, and there's going to be some stories that come out that are not as clear-cut and that aren't as uh, dramatic, and we're not they're not all Harvey Weinstein level. But I think that to act like this is, I don't even think that the people in the movement have particularly seized on this one as, yes, this is the same as anything else. I think it's just part of the conversation. But it's really high profile, and an anonymous yeah. woman is accusing Ansari of forcible sex. He's and- famous, and this is common for famous men to get accusations. It's common for famous, it's common for famous people to have rumors come out about that. But you make it sound well, like it's almost okay. There's a rumor and an accusation that you essentially committed a crime. She isn't uh, well, as far I don't as think, I, I don't think it's I think it's just, I don't think this is a, it's not a publication that's really serious, babe.com. I don't think. The stories I, mean, I mentioned are commenting on it. Well, the, the New York Times, are, the what? Well, I yes, mean, but if it's in the New York Times, the, New York the Washington Times. Post. Well, they're commenting on it because it's a part of the conversation. If this had come out, if this story had come out 10 years ago, it wouldn't be discussed in the same way. It's an indication of how powerful the Me Too movement is that it is being discussed okay. and being bendered about. But you're okay that it's out. And, um, I, I feel like. I don't. It looks like I think other more serious publications probably didn't come out with her story, and maybe wouldn't have chosen to because there aren't sourcing in the way that there are for the Washington Post stories or for a lot of the other stories that have come out. But uh, I, I don't think it's. I think lo- I think this happens to celebrities. Here's let me just a variation on this theme so we can get an actual voice. Here's Ashley Banfield on Headline News saying a variation on the same thing that Barry Weiss, Caitlin Flanagan in the Atlantic, and other women have said. Here she is. What you have done, in my opinion, is appalling. You went to the press with the story of a bad date, and you have potentially destroyed this man's career over it. The Me Too movement has righted a lot of wrongs, and it has made your career path much smoother. What a gift. Yet you looked that gift horse in the mouth 
and chiseled away at that powerful movement with your public accusation. What's your reaction to her? I mean, that's rather extreme language, but it's not that far away from the other stories I mentioned, again, by women. I agree with her. You agree I'm, with her? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. Uh, Jen, this is where your no. mouth may fall open. But I no, think, no. you know, when I hear, when I read the story and look at the commentary, it's very blurry and confusing to me, mm -hmm. right? So you're, you're at a place, you meet at an award ceremony, you, she approaches him, she likes his camera, they talk, they go have a date at another time. She goes back to his room. At any of these times, if she thinks it's going too fast, you can say, no. And I know this is going to cause a lot of blowback. Well, well she did say no. some of those things. Yes. She said yeah. No. Yeah. 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 She, she said no to what? But just, she said, hold on a sec. I don't want to do this. I don't want to upset Because I will yeah. tell you, if she yeah, said no, stop at any point, I would be fully behind her. But I didn't hear that. Right. I think and, this and level, that this is like destroying the Me Too movement. Like, this is it. You've blown it up. You've, you've, this. No. That, that's like that. I mean, that, what we just <clears throat> saw was like so extreme and over the top. I mean, this is like babe.net or whatever it is. It's this They're going to come after you for saying that. Well, you well, say rinky dink. They're like a little rinky dink thing. And, and I would, would I have published that? No. Like, uh, would I have written that up and published it? But Jen, it? again, no. you know, the, but the, I don't, if I may, the, but, the yeah. one place where uh, I know I'm not in agreement with you, even if Babe.net is heard of by nobody, once a New York Times and a Washington Post freely decide to write about it. It's a problem. It's, a, it's an issue. I don't it's know if you say it's 2.5 million hits, I think. This was the biggest story I think that this outlet has mm -hmm. ever had. And I do think that there are conflicts of interest. That's, to me, the bigger issue with this outlet is that there are conflicts of interest because it was sort of... An, a news piece, but it was also like an op-ed. It's sort of this weird hybrid piece that came the out. The Babe.net thing. Yeah. yeah, but the one thing I have to say, I'm sort of surprised to hear that you agreed with Ashley Banfield's language, because my takeaway, I've read this piece twice, yeah. my takeaway from this is, I don't know either of them, they're both operating in good faith. They mm -hmm. both saw a similar set of facts differently. I mean, the line that Caitlin Flanagan used in The Atlantic and what she and the writer who told the story did was 3,000 words of revenge born, which is a variation on what Ashley Ben. I don't think that was her intention. I think she felt violated, and I think Ansari appears to be sincerely remorseful and surprised right. and confused. Well, it's possible it's the, they both but have if you feel, well, I think it's the if coverage. You feel, I think that if, like, so... Like you said, I think that the writer, uh, the original writer, was very circumspect about it. She admitted to certain, like, I maybe made a wrong choice here. I think I'm sorry has responded really, really well. If we've, I mean, Caitlin Flanagan, who I love her writing, but she likes to dive in there and get to the yeah, controversy. You, the, the you know? controversy. But if you and have so two people who are it. circumspect, who, who, yeah. who are honestly disagreeing, he reached out to her via text. Why didn't the, the conversation continue there? That's why I have questions about intent, honestly. Because if you want to... You think she has an agenda here? I don't know if she has an agenda. But I would say, if this was someone in my family, which is always what I try to do, I would question, why would you do that as why opposed to going to him personally? If this is a personal issue, a personal misunderstanding, why not resolve it that way? You know, Jen, the, the thing that uh, I want to say this carefully is... I'm not sure that some observers of this or readers of this can distinguish between human nature and predatory nature. Now, if the human mm. nature, <laughs> even if it crossed the line and even if he went places he shouldn't have gone, oh, well, is, it, is your, well, is well, your I, position that yeah. I'm sorry is to basically be mixed in this group of people? No, who I have, think there are, uh, uh, when you're talking about predatory man and you're talking about Is he a predatory man stuff. based on what you read? I think there were shades of predatoriness. Yes. What? Uh, but what was the to shade? To keep pursuing no, it to, when she said no, I think was, but I don't know. She I didn't say there. no. She said, hold she on a sec, let's chill. No. She and said, to which he said, let's put our clothes back on yes. and, and he, sit on the couch. And, and how long is a second? Hold on a second. We held on a second. And now let's get back at it. I mean, seriously. I think that there, what, I think this is a, what I think this piece should be is a chance to talk about. I agree with that. About how we approach sex, how women get into situations, how men get into situations, how we um, men are taught to pursue. Well, we only have a minute. Let's take this time. Yeah. Let's tell Ansari what he should have done differently. differently. I think he should have been like just watched Netflix with her. And take it. Why? Because. Because she didn't ask to do that. I mean, so he now he's supposed to say, do, 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 do. This woman she is said, uncomfortable with this. this. She said, I don't want to do this. And they stopped. But they did both but get naked, by the way, again. which doesn't mean she can't and say she, stop at that point. Right. 
She, well, he took her thing, clothes off. Like, she, he as took... feminists, aren't we empowered to say no? Yes, of course. I mean, we're I just I don't get no. why we expect him to be a mind reader. And I literally don't think said, he was asked to be a mind reader. How wasn't she he? She kept saying, "I don't want to." She and you if can she said, you can stop. consent at the beginning and then be like, "Wait, never mind." I agree with that. I agree with that. You can. And I think we've all had sex right at this table, and we all have had moments where we are like, "Wait, this isn't what I thought it was going to be." Or I and I'm not sure how I feel about this. Or and, and it's so you know it's you're in the moment. They've probably been drinking as a little. As soon as you say that, I agree. It has to stop. But I guess what I'm saying, from my understanding of the stories of what happened, there was actual engagement in behavior. So if you so sh there's mixed messages you know, that are being sent, yes. right? So she's saying she does it, but then she does it. She doesn't want to, but then she engages in the behavior. Okay, so she's supposed to. Know. Since we all had sex, we have to go. We're out of time, unfortunately. <laughs> That's right. well, I I mean, you to said it must that. be true, Janet. It's good <laughs> to see you, Jen. you. Thank Tina, you so as much. always. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. You. I appreciate thank both you. your thoughts.